What's this? Sounded like at least two of the circulation. Nothing suspicious here. Alex, you here? Tell me something. When you were a little boy, did you make your mama wait for you a lot? Usually it was the other way around. Good, because if you were my boy, I'd have smacked you. You said you got something on VersaLife. Yeah. A couple of months back, a research assistant was found dead in the Rokaseka Beach facility. Special Projects Division. She was poisoned, just like Rucker. She? You got her name? Anik Norstad. Why? You know somebody there? Doesn't matter. Forget it. I can't stand Versa Life, Adam. Back when I was flying for Bell Tower in Panama, I stumbled into deep shit with them. They're the reason I've got a target on my back. They told my bosses to kill me. If they're involved in this, we'll get them. We just need to know what this is. Rucker gave me this before he died. Said it could prove Ark is being set up. The email on it reads like activation orders to me. Where'd he get it? Whose is it? I've got a suspect in mind, but nothing to prove it. Until I do. Can you get Janus or one of your juggernaut friends to backtrace the IP address? Yeah, man, no problem. Listen, about VersaLife. The information we found on Norstat was buried. Deep. No police report, no autopsy. Just a footnote on an insurance claim, calling it an industrial accident. She was working with dangerous pathogens, wasn't she? Supposedly. Janus thinks there's more to it. He's the one who found the report. Said it was... off. Off how? Lots of blank spaces and missing details. Didn't really go into it. And you didn't think to ask, did you? Are you saying I fucked up? I'm saying Janus thinks a lot of things. And somehow always manages to find the answer when nobody else can. You don't find that odd? I find it reassuring. The Collective has people everywhere gathering all kinds of intel. But Janus is what holds us together, helps us make sense of it. He picks the signal out of the static. And yet you've never met him. <laughs> Nobody meets Janus. Nobody even knows where he is, who he is. Hell, even what he is. You get used to it after a while. For me, the key thing is what he finds. Norstat was poisoned, Adam, just like Rucker. Are we looking at some kind of bioweapon here? Miller's access card might help us find out. How? I don't follow you. NSN exchanges are stored in the system's cloud memory. If I log in as Miller, using his access card, I might be able to play back more of that conversation he had with the bosses. Shit, Adam, this isn't like planting a bug. You have to actually use the chair, for a while, if anyone catches you. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Your call. But I want to be plugged in and listening the whole time you're in there. Just be careful, man. Call me when you've accessed the machine. Clock is ticking. Good one. Come on, let's blow this place. Hey, I'm the funny guy, not you.
access granted. Access granted.
access granted. Collective is one of the most dangerous criminal organizations in the world. Despite whatever praises the underground media wants to sing. archived within the walls of Palisade Property Bank is beyond the legal jurisdiction of any government. Assured. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted.
Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Smiley, the static wasn't at his apartment, but I did find what looked like bomb-making equipment and a trap set by the Diwali. You're kidding! I also found out where he might be. The Red Light District. At a bar across the street from the Red Queen. I'm heading there now. We have a couple of agents in that district watching the Diwali now. I'll send them over. Copy that. Job. Uh -uh. Bien, Paul. Good as it is. Who wants to get happy? Here we are at last. Red Queen. I can't believe I've been working. Oh, Enough the ethics from that vampire reddish. Yes, Mrs. Cadillac. Boys can be such... Massa Cadillac. 
I am the owner of the Red Queen. I make a point of knowing everything important, but you? You, I do not know. Could be of not important. Oh, please. Have you seen yourself in a mirror lately? Besides, I have a healthy curiosity. It is important to a mother. Mom wouldn't be thrilled about me being in a place like this. Really? I can't imagine why. A good time never hurt anyone. If people are getting hurt, you might end up seeing more of me than you'd like. If you're so concerned, by all means keep your eyes open for misconduct. It's like I always say, a safe client is a paying client. It's not the safety of the clients I'm worried about. The Red Queen is a family business. My eldest son works the bar. The other does security upstairs. Come in on the weekend, and you'll meet one of my nieces, Agnieszka. She's the late show. You see around here, nothing comes before family. What can you tell me about the Red Light District? Oh, you can't be that naive. Then again, we don't get many of your kind through here, as clients. And why is that? Because the Diwali's control it. Now if an Og's money is good, it challenges our preconceptions. We can be very accommodating. Still, when it comes to your kind, some among us are... What's the word? Skeptical. Yes, yes, that's a very good word for it. Skeptical. Especially when the Og in question seems to be all dressed up for something. It makes the other customers nervous. I understand your family is very important to you. Does that include a kid named Dominic? Ah, I didn't think you were here for the scenery. I'm here to repay a favor. This club is my confession. People stop by, whisper in my ear. Sometimes I forgive, sometimes not. Lately, I hear one of the Diwali men wants to reconcile with me. How old-fashioned of him. He helps you out, you help him out. I take it Dominic's causing some kind of trouble. Dominic has made bad choices for himself and for his family. We have tradition to consider. So I ask you, what is the best way to get a hot-headed young man out from where he does not belong? If you know for a fact he's in over his head, why give him a choice? You go in there and you drag him out. My thoughts exactly. Not always easy though, is it? Boys can be very stubborn. Then what did you have in mind? My hands are bound by politics. You, I think, have the look of someone used to working around political matters. Perhaps you could kidnap Dominic. I want to understand this better. What makes Dominic your... our problem? Sometimes the Valley operations need sharp young toughs who can wave a gun. And sometimes they need men who can look good in a suit and make allegiances. So which type is he? I made an arrangement for Dominic. I found him a woman, found him a place, away from all this, where he was useful to the family. But he thinks he knows better. He thinks like Radich, Nikolaitz. He's a runaway groom. You wanted to marry him off, he wants to sit at the kingpin's table. And this costs you, doesn't it? You're very perceptive. Dominic is disposable to Radich, but to me, he can bring a more capable wife into the fold. My fault. Alright, where's Dominic now? What do you want me to do? They call it Hotel Narikala. An old Georgian joke. One of Radich's safe houses. Dominic knows we cannot interrupt Radich's hospitality. And that's where I come in. It's heavily guarded, I assume. Mm -hmm. And surveillance systems, alarms. This is the boy. So I sneak into this building, find Dominic. Tell him he's expected back home. No. You get in, you incapacitate Dominic. You bring him out and leave him in a cozy storage locker. No one can see any of this happen. 
You want me to knock this guy out and drag him through a building full of Radish's men, undetected? You're kidding, right? Where I am from, abduction of the bride was a time-honored custom. So you think of this as an act for equality? You'll know Dominic by his tattoo. Do not bring me the wrong man. And I know you're gonna sit there quietly and wait with us like a good little watchmaker. I've got this, Agent Riley. You and your partner can relax for a few minutes. Wait a minute. I know you. You've been in my shop. What is this? You have some things to answer for, Mr. Stanek. We have evidence linking you and your shop to the train station bombing. Bombing? No! I would never... I, I wouldn't even know where to start. You have the wrong man! Do I? Convince me. I have a timing device with your name on it, and I found the tools to make even more bombs in your apartment. What else am I supposed to think? But you've been to my shop. You know I fix watches. I don't make bombs. No. Those tools aren't mine. They belong to my... Your daughter? No. No. Look. Take me in. I'm the one you're looking for, not her. I... I have made bombs for them. I don't think so. Protecting your daughter is admirable, Mr. Stanek. But you're not doing her any good by taking the blame. You need to tell me what you know. I... You are right, I know. Allison was in the military. She always wanted to belong, to be part of something greater than herself. She was such a beautiful child, gifted. What happened? After the incident, she met some people. They said they were her friends, but I could see they only wanted to use her. Parasites! And, and now, now, they have taken her! You must help! She is not to blame for this! She has been coerced! Calm down. What do you mean they've taken her? Allison and I were supposed to meet here tonight. Instead, one of them came by, spewing curses about fleshers and naturals. He gave me a message from her. She was... she was saying goodbye. But she would never... They used her, and now they intend to make her disappear. What do you know about these friends of hers? Other than they were augmented? Not much. They only spoke to Allison when they came to the shop. As if anyone unaugmented was beneath them. They kept talking about the Ascension, whatever that is. Does your daughter have the expertise to do this? Much more than I do. She was in the military. EOD, they call Explosive Ordnance Disposal. The bomb squad? Yes. She was happy in the military. They augmented her, rebuilt her to make her better at what she did. But after the incident, she was dishonorably discharged. She was lost. That's when these new friends found her. Duh! They exploited her. Now they plan to discard her. Your apartment was booby-trapped by Radish Nikoladze. What? 
why would he? I guess friendship means nothing to a thug. What happened? I was never a wealthy man, but my shop is well known, respected. British liked my watches. He knew I needed money after what happened to Allison, so we strike a deal. But deals are like beautiful women to that man. A better one always comes around. Where can I find Allison, Mr. Stanek? I wish I knew. I would go and get her away from those people. I was about to go looking for her when your goons showed up. We'll find her. I need you to go with these agents. I'll have some more questions for you. No! I have to go! I have to help her! She's... She's all I have. Please, let us do our job. Find my daughter, or I will! Smiley, I spoke to Stanek. He's not our guy, but he has a daughter. Allison. Ex-military, EOD. She might be the bomb maker. So what's our next move? Stanek says he doesn't know where she is, but I think he's hiding something. The agents are bringing him in. Until he gives her up, this investigation is stalled. I'll make sure they lean on him. See what he knows. Good. Let me know what happens. Is this me, Alice?